Well, hello. Uh, I believe we're live. Uh, welcome to uh, day two, the beer advent calendar. Um, what have I got to say today? I'm not really sure. <laughs> I did think it would be a, a little bit of a, a seat of the pants production. Uh, I do hope the microphone's working. I've no idea whether it is. I haven't tested this, uh, as you'd expect. Um, so um, let's just uh, hope and pray for the best, shall we? Um, Today's beer uh, is uh, in a bottle, as you uh, as you can see. Uh, uh, the uh, the little beautiful little label on it said fridge again. So again, it's been in the fridge. Uh, and uh, I'm going to read this out to you because it's, uh, it's it's terrific. Uh, when building a beer box for Ben, one must always include something from this brewery in it. And then it says, "Sorry, this one." I think it says one. The writing's pretty. Pretty illegible. Uh, this one doesn't have any Peruvian ground apples in it. Um, Peruvian ground apples being a, a bit of a euphemism for uh, uh, breaking wind uh, <laughs> in a small group of friends of mine. Right. Um, so apparently it's something that I would like. It would appear. Let's open it and see what it is, shall we? Oh, hang on. Oh, so, oh, look at that. <laughs> look at that. It is a Colonel Foda Kvike. I think it's pronounced Kvike. Uh, Pale Ale Citra. Oh, good God, that looks good. Um, Colonel Brewery, one of my one of my favourite breweries um, in London. Uh, it's, I think I discovered them about 10 years ago. Were wandering by uh, um, the arch that they were in in Bermondsey by accident, and uh, I saw a trestle table full of uh, interesting looking bottles such as this, and uh, I decided I'd give it a try and never <laughs> look back. Absolutely terrific stuff. Um, I shall be opening it with my Heavenly Records 30 Years bottle opener, which um, looks terrific and kind of works. <laughs> if, let's uh, let's open it and see if it. Uh, see if what we can do with this bottle. Yep, there we go. Magnetic as well, look at that, see? Never lose your top, and you can put it straight back on the fridge. Terrific, right. Oh, that smells good. Um, pouring today into the uh, Beer No Evil shop. Branded glassware. Uh, Beer No Evil, uh, Worthing's finest bottle shop and off-license. Run by the... Uh, very excellent uh, Gareth and Gemma. Look at that. That looks pretty murky. I've got to say it smells amazing. Um, so I'm guessing, given it's called Ferder Kvike, that it's been aged in a big oak barrel called a Ferder. And um, it's got some, uh, some Norwegian yeast in it that's uh, known as Kvike, which... I'm told really accentuates the hops, and um, I'm going to give it a sniff and see if it does. Yeah, <laughs> it does. I mean, citra being citra, it's it does have a hint of cat piss about it. It like the day after the cat's pissed, and it's you've not you've not found the source of uh, of said smell. Yeah, it's a bit like that, but um, I'm pretty sure it's not going to taste that way. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so so you've got a massive amount of fruitiness from the uh, from the hops and um, and the, the kvake. I think it's kvake? Kvake? I, I've really no idea. I mean, it looks like kvake. Um, oh, the kvake is uh, how I used to pronounce it. Um, and that really accentuates the hops. So you, you're, get, you're getting loads and loads of fruitiness straight away. Um, but because it's been barrel aged um you've got a lovely sharpness as well so you you know often with kernel beers you get a little bit of sort of you know a, a nice little sting of, of, of bitterness towards the end um but it's never too long lasting it's just you know nice and subtle um that this this barrel aging accentuates that a lot and it's uh, yeah it's tasting terrific actually Mm. I mean, people who know a lot more about 
how to describe tastes, uh, a beer would go on about, I think, stone fruit um, at this at this juncture. And um, I'm wondering whether it says anything on the uh, uh, pretty flimsy sleeve notes. Um, minimal, I think, is uh, is the word. And uh, no, it just says it just says um, please drink fresh and uh, dry hopped with citra. So there we go. Colonel Brewery, photo fake, pale ale citra. Beer number two out of the calendar, and a terrific one it is too. Thank you very much. Good evening, and uh, cheers. And now I'm going to see if I can switch the video off without looking at the screen. <laughs> Not possible.